and of now the uh, theory counseling session are held through online mode and the recorded sessions are also available in the Indira Gandhi National Open Minister Regional Center Coaching uh, YouTube channel. So you can be benefited from that. And the next slide please. And to your assignment question of the study. Many a time uh, we uh, tend to Google search. Yes, it's good. But still, you have to write it in your own words when it comes to writing assignment response. And it has to be handwritten. And once it is handwritten, you can send it by post. You can send it, you can upload it through the Google link available in the Regional Center Coaching website. And many a time, we find that the assignment uh, are a little uh, copied exactly from the content. It should not be done. And the second thing is, when you are scanning the item to submit soft copy, keep it below your uh, visibility, that is reach, so that it, it is fully covered. That is also a suggestion we want to place. And old question paper are available in the regional center and, uh, uh, sorry, the main regional website and the downloads. So uh, with that, uh, I just want to say that studying with IGNU is going to be interesting and it is going to yield you some quantifying result by means of acquiring a degree. And uh, it, it is, uh, many a time it will look challenging when it comes to uh, seeing, uh, say, uh, six months ahead from now. But uh, friends, as a... Uh, uh, suggestion I just want to uh, submit to you please take one day at a time without worrying about tomorrow and when you are taking one day at a time see that what are the prerequisites you have to fulfill today so that amidst so many uncertainties of tomorrow so that when you face your tomorrow you are safe enough to uh, know what are your benefits in terms of the studying with you so with that, I um, of uh, summarizing of how to study with Timo, I just catch two points. One is you should be in touch with your coordinator. You should know what you have to do in the in terms of the program which you are studying, and you should be like a small monkey clinging to the mother monkey. And amid so many un uncertainties in life, please don't worry, but take one day at a time. With that. I uh, request um, Madam Sujini Babu to share about the significance of enrollment number, the di uh, difference between fresh admission and re-registration, the minimum and maximum period of study available at the group. Over to Madam Sujini Babu. Uh, good morning. Good morning. Uh, good morning. I hope I, you can hear. Hello, good morning. Uh, can you hear me? Yes, we are uh, hearing to the name. Yes, yes. It's audible. It's audible. Okay. Yeah. Uh, so, as ma'am has already uh, told uh, today, I'm going to share some details on uh, the program. Enrollment number allotted to you by the university. Difference between fresh admission and re-registration uh, regarding your study center. Maximum period to complete the program. That means validity of your registration. So first I will be talking about uh, the program. So while uh, studying with ICNO, uh, what you should know about the program of study that is first you should know the uh, program code then program title the course code and the course title these are the first uh, important things you you have to know for example if you have enrolled for masters in psychology mapc is your program code and the program title is Master of Arts in Psychology. 
the various subjects are identified by the course code course title under course code so the second one enrollment number allotted to you by the university now you must have observed your enrollment number written on your identity card once you submit your online application form for admission and your admission is confirmed you will be allotted with a unique number which is the enrollment number the enrollment number is a nine digit unique number for those who have, who have registered till 2019 july session however for those who have registered for january 2020 and july 2020 and afterwards that means uh, january 2021 enrollment number has 10 digits the university identify the student by the enrollment number therefore it is mandatory to mention your enrollment number while you communicate with the university regarding your program whatever the query may be you have to mention your enrollment number then only we can identify you enrollment number is mentioned in your university identity card which can be downloaded from the icno website now um, the difference between fresh admission and re registration when you come to the regional center or study center you will be asked for whether you are a fresh student or a re registered student hence first you should know the difference between fresh admission and re registration when you registered with icno for the first time either first semester or first year for any program is on offer is for fresh admission that is your first registration with the university whereas re registration is when you register for your second semester or second year after year or or a, or a semester it is not mandatory that you have to complete all components of your first year or first first semester for re registration uh, sorry for re registering your second and second semester university has made it convenient to the student to take fresh admission and also take re registration to online from the icno website now Uh, i will be talking about the study center that is learner support center the university has established its uh, uh, learner support centers at various stem colleges higher education institutions each study center has its unique center code for example uh, sacred heart college it is one of the study centers of icno the uh, study center code for ss college is 1402 each study center has its own icno study center code you should know your study center code study center name and address for availing academic support and also for submission of your assignment please remember that regional center code is not your study center code now uh, maximum period to complete the program indicate the validity of registration each program offered by the university has its minimum and maximum period of study to facilitate flexible way it is very important that the learner is well aware of the validity period of their registration there were instances like the student submitting the project report or dissertation after expiry of the validity of registration and the result of the same has been withheld by the university so to know your registration validity you may visit the university website www.icno.ac.in now you have the choice to complete the program either within the minimum period or maximum period of validity so thank you for uh, uh, listening now i would like to invite dr sindhu p nayar deputy director of regional center kochi madam will be explaining the facilities available at learner support centers uh, for the le uh, learners of icno over to madam sindhu thank you i hope i'm audible yes yes uh, 
the next list the next uh, topic which our uh, new students should definitely know is about the facilities that we have at your uh, learner support center or the study center which you were just listening to so therefore i'll briefly tell you about what are the basic facilities that you can avail of at your uh, learner support center or the study center the first primary support is the academic counseling in igno system we refer to the academic counseling as academic support or the sessions that igno conducts for its learners so each of you learner who is listening to this program are aware by now of the chosen program of study that you have and within each program there are several courses so the academic counseling are the sessions which is course based that is for a particular course the academic counseling will be conducted now with the pandemic since february 2020 university has not been offering it face to face mode and currently you know regional center is offering the academic counseling through the online or the virtual mode due to this pandemic uh, situation and the recorded sessions are available in the regional center uh, website next slide please now that was about the academic counseling for the theory sessions the next is about the practical counseling sessions for some of the programs there are both theory courses and <clears throat> practical courses for the practical courses there, there will be practical counseling sessions that is for the lab courses so once you look at your program structure you would be aware about the set of courses that you have in this particular session that is january 2021 now for those practical courses practical sessions will uh, counseling will be there and this is compulsory in the igno system which means you have to be in touch with your learner support center to ensure that you attend the practical counseling sessions uh, as and when it is being scheduled and you do not miss it next slide please now the next uh, facility that you we have at the learner support center is with regard to the tutor marked assignments tutor marked assignments are a compulsory component and for every course or every theory course there will be an assignment a tutor marked assignment which you have to uh, respond to you have to write the assignments and this assignment submission is to be done at the learner support center so that the learner support center will take care of its evaluation and for the transmission of the awards so you will have to be in touch with your learner support center with regard to uh, the assignments and we must ensure that we collect back the evaluated assignment response from the learn learner support center so that you can use the tutor comments for the for the preparation of your uh, term and examination another support which you can uh, get to some extent from your learner support center is with regard to guidance on the project internship field work and workshop this is only for those programs which have any of these components that is if it is the program has a project component or an internship component or a field work or a workshop there will be specified study material for these uh, programs in the university that uh, handbooks uh, in fact i'm sorry the handbooks will be available you have to read the handbooks and uh, accordingly you can approach your learner support center if you require further assistance in with respect to identifying a guide uh, supervisor etc and the last one is a term and examination now term and examinations are conducted by the university and in most cases the uh, study center or the learner support centers will be examination centers but all learner support centers need not be examination center that is university conducts the theory term and examination at the identified learner support center only and then with regard to the practical examination for the practical courses which again we mentioned was compulsory you will have to appear for the practical examination and that will be done at the learner support centers so these are the primary facilities that you can avail of or you need to be aware of uh, while pursuing your uh, uh, learning with the university now the next topic is know the igno regional center coaching which will be presented by dr l chandrashekaran 
I request him to kindly. Thank you. Thank you, madam, and good morning to all. And I welcome the new learners to the Igno system. And being a new learner, it is better to know about your regional center, that is Igno Regional Center of Cochin. This Igno Regional Center of Cochin was established on 17th November 1988. When it was established, it served the entire state of Kerala along with Union Territory of Lakshadweep. Then, after about two decades, one more regional center was established in Trivandrum during the year 2009. And uh, southernmost districts, that is Kollam, Patnam, Ditta, and Trivandrum were attached to Trivandrum Regional Center. And of course, one or two districts of southernmost uh, districts of Tamil Nadu also were attached to Trivandrum Regional Center. Again, due to the growing demand, more number of learners were there in the state of uh, Kerala. Considering the strength and to serve better, one more, the third regional center which came up in Madagara during the year 2011. And when it was established, the regional center of Madagara served learners of Kovikot, Kannur, Vainad, and Kasarkar districts. Later on, one more district, that is one more district that is Malapuram, was added to Vatagara Regional Center during the uh, regional center during during the time. <coughs> now Vatagara is serving five districts of Kerala in the northern uh, five districts of Kerala and Cochin Regional Center which serves six districts in the central part of uh, Kerala and Trivandrum Regional Center serves three region, uh, state uh, districts of Kerala. The Regional Center Kochi in caters to Ernakulam, Trishur, Palakkad, Kotiyam, Idiki, and Alapura. So there are six districts and of course Union Territory of Lakshadweep. Now when we see about infrastructure, the present four-story building was inaugurated in the year 2010. Actually, the, yeah, the regional center was inaugurated, it was one plus one, that is ground plus one. And later on, two more floors were added during the year 2010 and inaugurated. And this four-story building houses the regional center coaching and Gyanwan FM station, computer labs, classroom, conference rooms, guest room, the creation center, and library. This building is the road site, that is front building. When you enter the campus, this is the front, uh, first building. And we colloquially call it old building. <laughs> this second building, it is backside of the old building, is of sixth floor and it was inaugurated in the year 2016 and it houses the regional evaluation center uh, that which serves the most of the southern states for evaluating the answer scripts of the students and the model study center study center code is 14000 and uh, actually this is the unique one very very, very few regional centers which is uh, having the model study center in its campus and the study material warehouse uh, from where we used to dispatch study materials to those students which are left out by the headquarters or those materials which are available at the study center which can be dispatched to the students. That is of course internal arrangements we have at the regional center. Then we see the access because most of you might have applied through online. So you, most of you may not be knowing where the regional center exactly located. To say, it is in a prominent and conveniently accessible location of Ernakulam. 
and it is very near to kalur metro station and kalur private bus stand and from where you can just walk down because it is few buildings away from the kalur metro station and kalur private bus stand and more so those who are coming from far off places by train or ksrtc bus etc they can also easily access the, access the regional center from the ernakulam north railway station and ernakulam junction as well as ksrtc bus terminus and now we have seen the physical access of the igno regional center now the other mode the latest internet access of our regional center that is the university as well as the regional center comes through our website and we have two different websites one is meant for entire university students across the country and it is managed by the headquarters at delhi the other one is managed by the regional center specifically for the learners of this region that is cochin region the main igno website url is www.igno.ac.in the regional center website is http colon double slash rc coaching dot igno dot ac dot in we can we have two websites basically we have two different function in these two websites which we will be seeing now the facilities at main website and we we have seen we have divided into three part through the website we can do so many things now in igno the main website we have made three distinction to make you understand easily one is what are all can be downloaded and what are all you can do through this igno main website and third one is what are all you can check through the website first let us see what are all can be downloaded first you can download your id card earlier days when learners used to submit hard copy of the application we attach the uh, id card and send them uh, by post to the learners now that system is over because learners are applying through online and we don't send anything hard copy the id card especially it, the learners are expected to download the id card from the website based on the input details that is whatever the access code given and password through which you can download your id card digital id card and you can save it as soft copy or you can take print out and laminate keep it safe and one more thing, next the prospectus you can download because when learners used to buy application along with it we used to supply prospectus so that they need not print or download and they can very well verify the prospectus anytime they want it now since everything is online now the prospectus has to be downloaded so that the learners can refer any time they want of course before admi- admission most of the learners would have gone through the prospectus fully very few only they would have uh, gone through only wherever they want and done the admission but prospectus is a, a record document which has to be there with every learner till they complete the program and study materials also can be downloaded again if you see now university is offering 15% concession for those who are opting for the soft copy of the study material so those learners who want to download the study material has to visit igno main website in that under download section you can download the study material the process of which will be explained later on in this session <coughs> the study material also can be downloaded from the igno main website assignment question paper assignment submission is a prerequisite for appearing term and examination by any learner so assignment earlier along with study material learners used to get assignment question paper as well now you need not wait for it and many of you are is opting for the soft copy of the, the study material you can also download the assignment question paper and complete your assignment pro- submission process at the study center program guide there is a difference between prospectus and program guide prospectus gives you general perspective of the programs offered by university and like that but program guide gives you the specific details of the program which you are going to study 
so it is more specific about your program so program guide as to can be downloaded the those who want to have in advance otherwise it will be normally dispatched along with study materials and this igno main website also has old question papers students those who want to uh, see the old question papers model how they it was prepared what is the pattern of the question paper how the marking system is there so these things can be uh, seen by going through the old question paper and these old question papers also available at the igno main website and can be downloaded and finally exam date sheet learners can download exam date sheet it will not be sent by post to any learner so the learners are expected to visit the igno with main website before the examination and they can download the exam date sheet now let us see what are all can be done through the igno main website <coughs> first admission admission of course you have already done so we, we need not go into detail Re-registration also has already been explained by Ms. Sujini Babu. What is re-registration and how it differs from admission? So those who are in yearly program or those who are in semester-wise program, they have to re-register every yearly or every semester by paying the record fee. It also happens through online through Igno main website. Exam form submission. So. Uh, like in the convention system we have to submit examination form along with record fee for appearing in the examination here it is being done through online through the igno main website and payment also can be made through online pre evaluation so many of the students those who feel that they have got less marks and uh, they think they should have got more marks can apply for re evaluation so those students can apply after uh, examination de declaration of results they can go for re evaluation through the igno main website and uh, of course along it comes with record fee so after all these processes were of course finally it comes for the convocation registration so any learner who wants to appear uh, attend the convocation in person or receive their de degree certificate uh, in a particular regional center they can register for their convocation on getting the information from the regional center and so that their certificate will reach the particular regional center where from where they wanted to collect as opted by the learner these things can be done through the igno main website and now the third part what are all you can check through the igno main website first examination results as learner after the examination is over everyone will be anxiously waiting for the examination results of course those who have <laughs> written well others may not be uh, so anxious they will be a yeah, little bit nervous the so exam results can be checked through igno main website after a period of say about 1 month to 45 days the results are being declared so during those times if you visit igno main website and by giving your enrollment number and other record details you can check your exam result assignment marks also is declared through main website and assignment marks can be uh, checked through your grade card when you access your grade card in the student session uh, section you can check your assignment marks and study center change now study center can comes whenever you uh, know nowadays people are more uh, not static and they are moving due to various reason for employment marriage or uh, st higher studies and some other uh, due to parents uh, transfer and so on so then if you have to any learner who wants to avail the services of your study center like attending counseling classes submitting assignment etc they have to have their study center nearby so the study center change has to be done so when you apply for study center change whether it has happened or not you can check through the igno main website address change address change also again comes 
so all learners are requested not try to change their address mobile number or email id at least till they complete the program if there is no other options if some other inevitable reasons if they happen to change they have to intimate the same to the university and these things will take some time to get updated so during this time you have to make arrangements to get uh, communication whatever communication being sent to sent from the regional center to you you have to make some arrangements to get it collected and you keep your address phone number email id updated so that you don't miss any communication from the university these things also be checked at the main website after your request is made at the appropriate place <coughs> again students those who are opted for hard copy of the study material they can check the status of the dispatch of study material through the igno main website wherein it is given whether it is dispatched or partially dispatched or it to be dispatched all these status can be checked at the igno main website now let us see the facilities at regional center website in the regional center website we have few things which can be downloaded first one is induction guidelines <clears throat> induction guidelines as i said earlier like program guide your id card this also is very important because it contains very vital imp uh, information which you require till you complete your program uh, it uh, contains the uh, people or section whom to you contact for what and whatever uh, requirement you have or doubts to be clarified those things can be obtained by contacting the appropriate authority at appropriate uh, place <clears throat> because students are availing many services from study center regional center as well as from headquarters so learners are expected to know whom to contact for what for example for counseling schedule or counseling classes or help in the in uh, with regard to project preparation or assignment preparation you have to contact the study center if you contact our headquarters at delhi it will not serve your purpose it may take some time and by the time the uh, prescribed deadline you will miss the deadline so you have you should know where to contact for what at through which medium or mode the what is the procedure all these things are given in the induction guidelines along with phone number and email id otherwise i we see normally see learners they randomly go, go to our igno website and take whatever email id is available and send uh, mails and that will not serve your purpose and whenever you contact our university you should mention your enrollment number whether you write your name or not you should mention your enrollment number so that we can serve you better otherwise without which we cannot identify you in the system where uh, nearly 30 lakhs learners are there so don't forget to mention your enrollment number whenever you contact the university so that and with specific request what you want so these induction guidelines also can be downloaded and kept till you complete the program where you get all the details about your studies next comes brochures brochures are normally prepared by the regional center and it is a uh, program specific and the programs which are in demand we prepare the brochures and upload it in the regional center website which can be downloaded for the use of learners and we can help the fellow learners or those who are as per for further studies newsletter also is being prepared by the regional center quarterly and being uploaded through this newsletter the learners can come to know the activities being undertaken by the regional center kochi for the welfare of the students and the, the other academic activities specifically uh, being done in the region along with study center the regional center website also hosts the counseling schedule the, nowadays the counseling classes are held online so we are pooling the study center and learners so that it is being done centrally the counseling schedule also is available in the igno regional website wherein uh, from where you can get your course related schedule and now even recorded videos also available 
of the counseling session at the regional center website now because of this pandemic we have made arrangements to submit soft copy of the assignment to the regional center website so that learners can uh, submit their soft copy of the handwritten assignments through this regional center website and need not go to the study center and learners also get some information the following information on the study center so already they must have been uh, knowing the study center where all it is available so that they must have even during the admission process itself they would have opted for study center but if they want to know suppose there is or they want to change their study center and so on they can refer this page and come to know what all the, where all the study centers are there and uh, is it convenient to them if they shift to that center like that and learners can also verify programs activated in those study centers so that they can change because if the program is not activated in a particular study center or uh, requesting for a change will not be entertained also before requesting may making any request student can verify and check through this website and request which can be entertained accordingly then whom to contact for what as i said earlier it is also available in the uh, induction guidelines here also in the website also we have given whom to contact for what at the study center regional center as well as at the quarters so learners should uh, thoroughly know where to contact for what so that their or uh, grievances or whatever clarification they need they are being attended to and now uh, being this again the pandemic period we conduct frequently conduct facebook live session and this facebook live session schedule also is available in the regional center website which can be uh, made use of by the learners <coughs> counseling schedules as the earlier uh, said counseling schedules of all programs are being uploaded in the uh, regional center website which can be of use of the learners and practical examination internship project viva schedules are also uploaded in the regional center website and those things also students can and most of nowadays we, we communicate with the student mainly through mobile uh, that is sms and email you do kindly check your uh, don't change or if you change you keep it updated and you are requested to visit igno website main website as well as the regional center website so that you get the updated correct information and uh, this is what about the igno regional center and now uh, dr sindhu p nayar deputy director will uh, take further session regarding the study material thank you and best wishes So the next uh, topic is igno study materials learners this is a very important aspect which every learner with the university need to know about your study materials you would be happy to know that igno study materials or the, or igno had received the award of excellence for distance education materials by the commonwealth of learning in the year 1999 that is the with regard to the quality and the standards of the study materials igno had been awarded this award now coming to the study materials in igno this study materials are of soft copy and the hard copy now with regard to soft copy what we mean is the e format the electronic format of the study material that is you would recall the time of your applying for admission or submitting your application form to the university the uh, the portal would have asked you whether you want the study material in an e content format or as the hard uh, copy and those of you who have opted for the e material you would have been able to avail a discount of 15% of the program fee at the time of admission so those learners who have opted for that will have to utilize the e study materials available in the university portal of which i will be detailing to you and the hard copy those who have opted for them the hard copy of the material would be sent by post the study material of the university is in a booklet format that is in terms of small booklets in as blogs which you would which would be sent to those learners who opted for it by post 
now for uh, the study materials now each program has one or more than one course as you all are aware by now you will have a set of courses which you have to pursue now for each course for each theory course there will be study material and this course is made up of or is designed in terms of blocks and within each block blocks are made up further of units unit uh, for common understanding maybe i can say a unit is a chapter so which means within a block there will be a set of chapters or the units which we call in it no and then you have number of blocks so when you get your study materials you must first check the blocks that you have which would be mentioned as the block numbered 1 2 3 etc on the top right hand side would be the block number and within that you have units in consecutive numbering throughout the blocks so this we must first be aware about the uh, entire material that we have for a particular course now when you study or go through the unit you will find that there is a unit structure given that is every unit or every chapter would have a unit structure which means it will say the pattern it in which the material has been uh, presented to you the study materials are referred to as we mostly we refer to as self instructional materials that is a term that we usually use and that implies that it is self instructional in, in nature so that when you as a learner reads through it you will be able to read through it you will be able to understand it on your own or you will be able to do your learning on your own so this unit structure will provide the contents in terms of sections and subsections would be listed and another important aspect is that there will be self check exercises given within the unit and there will be a unit summary and these self check exercises would be very useful for you to attempt while you are reading through your study materials so that it would help you in appearing for your term and examination that is about the pattern of the self instructional material when uh, at least some of you would have started going through the soft copy of the materials you would be aware by now about the pattern in which the self instructional materials have been designed so please keep this in mind as you read through your materials because this is a compulsory component we have to read through the study materials and then go for appear uh, attempting for our assignment responses now how do we uh, get our study materials so as uh, i told earlier those who opted for the print mode the option of the print material is there but the soft copy is available in the uh, regional and in the university website university because you were just listening to earlier about the uh, facilities that we have in the main website of the university wherein the study material was also mentioned so what is the procedure to download the study materials so in the igno website the you will see this kind of an image when you go to the igno website where e gyan kosh has been listed so there is a procedure to download your study materials from e gyan kosh so why as you can see on the screen the program the different materials will be listed here so once you get into this particular page of the university you can go to this uh, particular window given there and you can type your course code or the course name which is relevant to your program so how do you know your program your course code you already have the details with you in the prospectus you have your student zone which reflects your course codes so with that you can type in your course code or the course name or relevant keywords for the content you are searching for like in any any search that we usually conduct and you press on the enter key and then you come down to the list of the courses so you can click on the course code or the course name to further view or download your uh, study materials so uh, most of the students are now uh, accessing the soft copy of materials and they are uh, using that as uh, the mode to do their teaching learning uh, their learning activities so this is the way that you can access your study materials from the e gyan kosh now further when you go into the study material particular course code you will have to again click on the respective blocks so blocks as i mentioned would be 1 b1 2 3 etc in sequence so once you click on a particular block you can then further the further go for the respective links under that and then you can view or open that particular uh, study material and use it for your for your future reference so you can download it 
that is how you should be uh, making uh, or organizing your study material with you so that it is handy with you till you write your assignments and even when you appear for the examination this is very important for us to know as learners throughout the period of the university maybe first year second year etc you have to know how to download your uh, study materials now this materials can also be accessed from uh, the uh, available e gyan kosh through the android app that is through the uh, google play store you can install the igno e content app and then you can download the material this what you see on the screen is the procedure of doing that you can access you can go to google play store and you can install igno e content app from wherein you can start your reading to your study materials and making further references and use of it now when you come further to the uh, e content android app to just help you out to go with the process you will come to a place where you have to choose your program type so of course you know whether it's a masters or a, or a bachelors program a diploma certificate program etc accordingly you click on that suppose you are a student of mapc the masters program you click on the masters program then you go to the next where the program names would be listed there you go and click the particular program for which you have enrolled with the university and further there you go to the next where you'll have the courses listed there you click on the particular course code and you get the you get access to the study material which you have to uh, take for each course so this is how you can make the use of the e content android app with regard to your uh, study materials now uh, for those of you for whom uh, the study materials you opted for by post uh, i would uh, request that as you know the pandemic with the pandemic uh, and the second wave coming uh, the material is in transit from the headquarters and various other places from where materials is being are being sent to the students meanwhile i would request our students to make the best use of the e content which is there in the university website and in the e gyan course so that you can start your learning activities for those who have opted for the print material now this despatch status of study materials can be accessed uh, from the igno website so the link that you see on the screen can be made use of and once you go to that particular link you can see the uh, status of the materials so it is with the material status or so the despatch of study material status would be displayed according to the session so the uh, next slide would show you that that is the particular session would be shown there and uh, according to your session you have to click on that particular session and then further once you give your key reference details to university you can see the status your status of study material dispatch for those who have opted for the uh, study materials by post so that is about the study materials we should know about the significance of study materials in our teaching learning activities the way it has been organized as self instructional materials in terms of blocks and units and how we can access it from the website or through the e content app and how we can know the status of despatch of study materials if we are if we have opted for it by the uh, print mode so this is about the study materials and please make use of the facilities Uh, available in the website for uh, with regard to study materials uh, thank you and the next topic is online counseling and internal assessment at igno by dr vt jalaja kumari assistant regional director Is Madam uh, available? Yes, ma'am. Yeah, Madam, please. Okay. Uh, morning, all. So you were hearing about study materials, and uh, you know, you can get up for study materials now. You know that uh, immediately after getting the study materials, you may be thinking about. Uh, academic counseling so let us think about 
what is academy counseling how it has to be uh, conducted in the uh, regional center or in igno so uh, uh, dear students we are conducting online counseling study center wise um, course wise not study center wise earlier you know at the time of offline um, counseling sessions we were conducting academic counseling sessions at each study center as per their convenience now we are conducting online counseling um, course wise but the uh, conduct of counseling sessions are uh, done by the study centers itself and the approved academic counselors in the midst i have to tell you that do you know what is uh, academic counseling or what is what is, how it is uh, differing from teaching the terminology you have to just uh, differentiate counseling and teaching in teaching as per the syllabus course wise teachers are covering all the portions and they are going to the all all the new can corners of all the concepts all the facts like that but in counseling whatever help you learners are needed that is solely transacted by the teachers that is why these teachers especially in audl system open distance learning system are called academic counseling means counseling is the process by which we are giving needed help so you don't expect uh, counseling sessions as a session for covering fully the study materials or the course materials or the blogs and all but they are giving they are providing needed help to you in the counseling sessions for that we have academic counselors these academic counselors are qualified teachers who has sufficient or high experience in uh, the concerned uh, discipline the concerned papers in regular colleges as per the ugc eligibility criteria so they are highly eligible highly resourceful and uh, exp they are having that much expertise in the particular topics particular uh, content so students how to attend the counseling sessions online nowadays because you know the uh, pandemic situation and uh, what all challenges we have to meet with so we are conducting online counseling counseling sessions are scheduled by the study center itself and for the sake of convenience what we are doing we are conducting the counseling sessions through google meet so the most popular easy and uh, the general a uh, platform nowadays we are using in the learning management system is google meet you know that uh, only 100 students are eligible now 100 students can only enter to google meet so we are making the arrangements that much uh, that way we are arranging the counseling sessions that way accordingly uh, as per your convenience if uh, at the same way you have to know that the counseling sessions for theory papers are not compulsory that doesn't mean that you don't uh, come to you, you there is no need to come to attend the counseling sessions counseling sessions are compulsorily we are conducting for students but it is technically it is not compulsory but the practical sessions are compulsory you have to attend all the sessions um, means 100 percentage you may attend the practical sessions theory counseling sessions are not compulsory technically but as a teacher i cannot tell you that you don't uh, there is no need uh, to attend the counseling sessions because ultimately the counseling sessions are for a teaching purpose learning purpose and a good student a typical student a model student has to attend almost all the matters given through the counseling sessions so you may attend it uh, the counseling schedule will be intimated to you by your sms and email because now these counseling sessions are scheduled by the study centers and it may be intimate intimating and informing the learners and all the background activities are done by regional center at the 
online counseling why the why because the on, online counseling sessions can be conducted uh, very neatly and uh, with all technical support from regional center that is why we are doing it so the intimation also be given by regional center regional center people will give you sms and email so students how to uh, notice that the phone number you are giving at the time of your admission the email id at the time of admission you have given this has to be maintained till the end of your studies in igno if you want to change your phone number or email id you please intimate the matter or you request regional center coaching in rccoaching.ignu.ac.in through mail to change your um, email id or phone number otherwise if we are sending the sms to you if you are sending emails to you you won't be intimated for attending the counseling sessions or any other purpose or any other matter in the regional center or in igno so this may be uh, thought this may be attended with uh, that much importance then at the time of counseling session i told you that uh, uh, ethically we can say that or as the responsibility of a learner it is your duty to attend the classes so you don't think don't try to miss any of the classes because all the classes have that much expertise and importance and you try to attend all the counseling sessions as per the message given as per the schedule given so at the time of counseling sessions you know that you are so free uh, to attend at any time and uh, you, at, the, the, at this uh, pandemic period particularly learners young learners they are not that much punctual as earlier when they were studying in the regular system regularly we are going to uh, on a particular time we are getting ready we are running to the college uh, we are studying we are coming back at a particular time like that a system is there uh, punctuality is there but nowadays if the class is starting at 10 o'clock sometimes you are uh, waking up uh, at uh, 10:30 or something but you don't try to come as such before the google meet session most of the time we have to communicate with the uh, peers the teachers and all and uh, we want to have the uh, recordical uh, copies also so as how you are attending the regular classes like that you come on time you join in the a google meet by the provided link on time and you come continue in the session till the end of the classes because sometimes uh, when you are uh, uh, attending the starting time you may think that oh this is not that much interested or uh, fully we are telling in english or something whatever it may be this is a common platform there may be many students who doesn't know malayalam that is why we are speaking in english but in the counseling sessions that is also a medium english medium we are providing you but you have the freedom to ask your doubts you have the um, freedom to inform your uh, difficulties to the academic counselor so in that way you be in touch with the peers and the academic counselor so in a good position in a good manner in a good dress good dress means our uh, a dressing code is there no before a meeting and all like that you come and uh, be attentive in the class throughout then uh, there will be a link the link will be provided by the uh, regional center and the study center uh, staff is managing it and uh, in the chat that link will be provided you don't forget to give your attendance because automatically the system the google meet system is uh, uh, marking your attendance and it is needed for many purposes in the regional center so don't forget to mark your attendance mark your presence so please give the attendance of your classes in the provided link that is a google form and uh, you can fill up the google form by your name your mobile number whatever uh, information they are asking like that you can view within seconds you can finish it and submit so that is also a uh, systematic activity we have to follow in the counseling sessions 
and uh, for the convenience of the distance learners you know that sometimes you are uh, you you may be in the office you may be uh, sometimes uh, rearing up a little one a little child so many other activities will be there so we know that the student may not be always able to attend the class sometimes the class is over they may be worrying about or oh, the class has been over i could uh, attend it for uh, a solution for that what we are doing we are now recording so now also you can see that this session is also being recorded so the recorded classes will be uploaded in the regional center website so uh, even after the completion of the sessions or at any time at any where you can utilize the recorded classes from the ignu regional center coaching website you please listen the regional center coaching website id rccoaching.ignu.ac.in this ignu.ac.in is a common domain for our mail id for the staff mail id and all only difference is that rc coaching r c c o c h i n dot that is the only difference between the mail id of ignu regional center coaching and the website address of the ignu regional center coaching so always be in touch with the website address and where you will get the uh, recorded things these are the main things i have to uh, communicate with you regarding online counseling now let us see you got study materials you are covering the you are attending the counseling sessions now what will be that now you have to prepare your assignments that is the next stage so systematically this uh, items are going on this powerpoint points are going on you think we have uh, internal assessment and external assessment system our assignment series are the part of our internal assessment ex internal assessment uh, many other provisions are also there i'll tell you first about your assignment so assignments are for internal assessment you will be getting a lot of time to write the assignment uh, you will be getting enough time to refer books other than that of the study materials also so you can prepare the best out of the uh, questions given in the in the website so the prepared assignments can be submitted by post by hand and through online submission so there are three modes of submission for assignments one is by hand you know at uh, what is by post at, uh, if the post offices are working means uh, if you are a fresh students at the time of your submission of assignments there may be provision for submitting by post we can hope so because if the pandemic uh, intensity is over or spread is over we can normally uh send your assignments by post by post means you have to submit your assignment to the concerned study centers not in the regional center if 14000 is your study center you can submit your assignment in 14000 itself if you are not able to come directly to submit it you can send it by post if you are sub if you are able to uh, visit the study center and submit your assignments by hand you can submit and uh, for the as a uh, precaution nowadays in all analysis we are keeping a drop box if you are coming uh, with your assignment in the study center please put your assignment in the drop box because it is not advisable to submit or uh, hand over it to a person because you know what is the threat of our time so please keep your assignment in the drop box and the people who are dealing with it they will sanitize it and they will take it after 2 3 days for the safety for as a safety measure like that the third option is the online link students you please listen one thing you don't send your assignment through mail of rc coaching or mail of uh, the study center it is not possible it is very difficult to manage with us for as a management system we have provided you a very good online link rc wise online link is there for assignment so rc coaching is uh, having a separate link for assignment submission 
This is not a common link given in the main IGNO website. This is separately given from the regional center question. In case, uh, uh, in all cases, you have to first write the assignment response. Then you may think from where we will get the questions for assignment. It is available in the website, the main website of IGNO. Also, at the same time, it is available in the regional center website. So for regional center assignment website, downloads, you can see there, here, the home page of uh, IGNO, IGNO um, website, there, home, about IGNO, register online, it, and after, in black color, student support is there. In what are student support is, uh, supports are provided, all are given one by one. One is student zone, uh, the other one is a student grievance, then downloads, then results. Is, it is very easy to go through downloads first. When you go, when you click on downloads, there assignment one provision is there. See, it is rounded with red mark. Click on that assignment. In downloads, common prospectus will be available and many other things. Among them, assignment is available. When you click on that assignment link, this page will appear. There, you can scroll down and you can find out your program. Master degree onwards, it starts and certificate programs comes last. Master degree, bachelor degree, their BA, G is there. CBCS uh, honors degree programs are there. It is separately given as CBCS honors. Like that, uh, postgraduate diploma programs, certificate programs, all are given. Whichever is needed for you, click on that and download it. Then you will get the correct directions and instructions regarding the preparation of assignment, not submission, preparation of assignment. You write it in handwriting, in your own handwriting. You don't try to download the answers from somewhere. It is not available because every session we have different, different questions, different, different assignment, uh, assignments are given, different assignments, not same. Session wise, it is changed. So if you are the students of 20, now you are the students of 2021 January session. So 2021 January session students are eligible to submit, year wise students are eligible to submit your assignment. 21 assignment for term and exam uh, means prior to the term and examination of 21 December means from the month of October onwards or September last onwards you can submit your assignment for that you prepare the uh, assignments first in handwriting and it has to be submitted if by hand in LSC this is the link for assignment submission prepared by RC coaching uh, see assignment response of copy submission from where you will get it that also I will tell you this link will be available in the regional center coaching website there a scrolling uh, title is going on as uh, submission of assignment click on that then this page will be appear there clear cut guidelines are given for assignment response of copy submission so only scan the copy of handwritten assignments uh, how to be submit and the size is also given only 100 MB size. So the it is a document. There is no uh, video or no, nothing is there. So in within 100 MB, the size size can be managed, and it can be submitted as a document or PDF. Email submission is not allowed. That is why it is given in cap big letters. Submit for only for the registered courses means i'll tell you what you have registered for some of the courses for example if i am telling uh, if you are a student of uh, ba english you may have one core course um, language course and your core main discipline courses another discipline you have to select one skill oriented program of course is there like that first semester one some courses are there then again, second semester courses are there. So you may focus on the courses you have selected at the time of admission. You admission is the courses. Courses means papers. You know, the program is very BA, MA, MSc, like that your programs. That is what called 
കോഴ്സസ് സോ അതിന്റെ അത് അതിപ്പോ എങ്ങനെ അറിയണം നിങ്ങളുടെ രജിസ്ട്രേഷൻ ഡീറ്റെയിൽസിൽ നിങ്ങളുടെ കോഴ്സസ് നിങ്ങൾക്ക് അറിയാം ഇൻ കേസ് നിങ്ങൾ മറന്നുപോയെങ്കിൽ നിങ്ങളുടെ രജിസ്ട്രേഷൻ ഡീറ്റെയിൽസിൽ നിങ്ങൾക്ക് കോഴ്സസ് അറിയാൻ പറ്റും അതർവൈസ് യു ക്യാൻ ഫൈൻഡ് ഇറ്റ് ഔട്ട് ബൈ ദി ഗൈഡ് ലൈൻസ് ഗിവൺ ബൈ ദി റീജിയണൽ സെന്റർ ത്രൂ ദ വെബ്സൈറ്റ് ദർ ഓൾസോ ഇറ്റ് ഈസ് മെൻഷൻ ആൻഡ് ഐ തിങ്ക് ദ ലിങ്ക് ഈസ് ഓൾസോ ഗിവൺ സോ സ്റ്റുഡൻറ് രജിസ്ട്രേഷൻ ഡീറ്റെയിൽസ് നോക്കി യു യു ഗെറ്റ് ഷുവർ യു എൻഷുവർ that this is my course right download the assignment of that particular course only you don't try to get the assignment of a second year course or uh, or a wrong course correct course has to be selected right as per the uh, directions given then for each course one assignment is there for each course there is one assignment one assignment response at a time comes from one email id means in the google form given they are asking one email id that may be your email id and you can submit one by one suppose you have six papers in the first year you don't try to uh, upload all the six papers together one by one you upload first paper you upload uh, if you are uh, ready to write and submit three courses in a session otherwise uh, you are thinking that uh, i have anyway i have uh, Uh, six years for a bachelor degree program i can submit i can only submit my things and cover my things in the six years duration time only then no problem you can select the courses for which you are going to prepare the assignment and submit no need for submitting all the courses it is up to you it is as per your decision so you do like that so do one thing submit one by one one paper means one course you have to submit through the given and i ready on the pattern on the day and uh, again you you can prepare the uh, you prepared the already the second one you prepared you submit secondly then thirdly like that how many assignments you want to submit you can submit that that is what it means one day enrollment number and other student details should be entered because the provision is given in the google form all the provisions are given for uh, giving your enrollment number your other student details name name program course like that so don't uh, leave any option you give all the options all the um, required information in the google form and uh, finally you submit one by one then again you have to end, after submitting one again you have to go to the same procedure you have to continue and submit again like that how many assignments are there at that uh, that much time you have to enter th- to the google form and give separately because the teachers who are who are uh, evaluating are different we are sending the assignments to different different teachers so separately everything has to be submitted and uh, listen one thing when you are submitting your um, document your assignment document it should be written in a legible readable manner clearly it should not be very small it should not be uh, blurred uh, by see uh, while uh, no looking it looking on it like that you have to ensure that the documents you are submitting will be clear and readable that is one important thing these are the these were the main things i uh, wanted to communicate with you regarding the assignment other internal assessment mechanisms are there then assignment is the only one method among many another one is for some of the programs practical survey some other programs have field work workshops some have internship some have mini project some other uh, programs have projects with viva vasi projects are there without viva vasi projects are there for example i will tell you practical for mapc students practical sessions are there bapc practical are there mlis blis students have practical bca nca students have practical like that many programs are there in igno with the practicals uh, if uh, you are a bcsw msw student you have a field work workshop is there you have MA, for mapc and uh, msudfsm uh, students they have internship 
some other programs are also there. I'm not telling everything. Just for example, I am communicating. Then for uh, MCA students, they have a mini project for almost all master degree programs. Almost all means some pro uh, programs doesn't have project work, but almost all programs have project work in the second year uh, for the uh, means in the final year. So these are also assessed by the external evaluators internally means this is the internal assessment done by igno some are submitted in regional centers some are at headquarters like that for bachelor degree students they have to submit their um, projects uh, to headquarters but a proposal for the project has to be submitted that also some are uh, at a regional center some are at headquarters for example mba mba students are submitting their project to synopsis and project at headquarters MAPC students have to submit their synopsis and uh, project at the regional center. If uh, uh, bachelor degree students, they are submitting their uh, means for BA one um, elective is there, their project is there. These type of programs, uh, programs, uh, the uh, handbook is uh, telling that the projects have to be submitted through the study center. And some field work things are also M MSC, MSC CFT is also there. MSC CFT programs we are uh, submitting to um, the headquarters through study center. And during the pandemic period, some arrangements are there timely in the study center or regional center will communicate with you regarding these are the internal and external assessment mechanisms in the regional center. Now uh, you have to focus on examination and convocation. That is the external assessment mechanism. So I, uh, this is my, I am handing over my, this uh, uh, platform to my colleague, Dr. S. Vidyarakhan, Assistant Regional Director. Vidyarakhan, sir. Ah, madam, thank you. Thank you, madam. Thank yes. you, madam. Uh, good afternoon to all of you. Um, first of all, I welcome all freshly admitted learners and our coordinators and my colleagues and the, our uh, respected regional director, madam. So uh, this uh, examination and convocation, I'm going to talk now. So examination, uh, we are conducting the examination uh, in you know, June and December month in every year. The registration for the examination will be done through the online. Uh, whenever the registration uh, will be starting for the examination. We will inform uh, through the uh, newspaper and also the SMS also will be sent to the uh, registered learners. So tenement examination, it is only through the online application. The assignment submission is the prerequisite. It means uh, before submitting the tenement examination form, the candidate must submit the assignment, uh, the registered course, per course, uh, one assignment needed to be submitted. The assignment submission uh, during this pandemic situation, we have give, given the online link in our RC coaching website. The candidate can able to uh, handwritten the assignment. Handwritten assignment, scanned copy, they can able to submit through the uh, link. So this is a three step we are having for that. The first step, the student uh, needed to be submit the assignment, uh, the scanned copy through the link. And second stage at regional center, we are separating that uh, study center wise, the assignment study center wise, we are separating and we are forwarding to the, the concern study center for the evaluation. And third stage, the concern uh, study centers, they can separate program wise and course wise, and they can forward to the approved academic counselor for the evaluation. After evaluation, the mark will be entered in the grade will be entered in the assignment portal by the study center, and the validation will be done by the regional center after receiving the hard copy of the grades. So this is a procedure. Uh, for the examination, you see that uh, for course 200 rupees for registration purpose, I told already it is through only the uh, uh, online. Uh, this information we will inform uh, through the um, uh, um, media and also the newspapers. The tenement examination, here you see that all the LSC are not examination centers. So we have been activated around 14 uh, examination center under RC Cochin jurisdiction. So the 14 examination center, which is uh, uh, wherever the remote area is available, there also we have established the examination center, uh, such as the EDK district, uh, Puttadi, we have the examination centers. 
and even we have the examination center and the lecture deep i learned so this is very convenient for our learner to write the examination their own place at the time of the filling the online examination form you can choose any exam center inside india for the india our for our learners uh, suppose the candidate in abroad they can contact the international division uh, for further information uh, next slide please uh, you see um, uh, examination i already told that Uh, do, during this pandemic situation, uh, uh, lost termed examination somewhat postponed, and uh, similarly, the communication, correct communication, will come from New Delhi, and we will inform to the all the eligible learners through the newspaper and also SMS. Here we can see that convocation. The convocation is conducted once in a year. Uh, the convocation also uh, should be registered through the online. Uh, the, the certificate. the candidate can able to receive the uh, certificate uh, through the convocation uh, in person or another type is in absentia so usually the both uh, those are registered for uh, convocation in particular regional centers their uh, degree certificate which is uh, uh, dispatched from scd new delhi to the uh, the concerned regional center suppose the candidate are not able to receive the uh, uh, certificate in the uh, a uh, convocation ceremony they can contact the regional center and they can pay the prescribed fee through the demand drop a uh, paper of pick group payable at cochin and they can collect their certificate from the regional center or if they want to get the certificate by post the eligible candidate they can able to write the letter to the regional director and they can send to regional center if they are eligible we can send it through their registered postal address already while admission time they have given the address here the same address we can send by a speed post to the particular eligible candidates so here uh, convocation uh, you see last 34 convocation has been conducted virtual uh, mode online mode because uh, we cannot uh, uh, make the crowd and we need to follow the social distancing to avoid the prevention of uh, covid uh, 19 so similarly whenever the right communication will come from new delhi we can inform to you her certificate 600 rupees uh, while registering the convocation they can pay through the debit card uh, so already the 34th convocation has been conducted through the virtual mode uh, and uh, similarly suppose the future convocation we will inform uh, to the eligible learners uh, through the sms and also the daily local newspapers that they can see the newspaper for further details uh, how to register for the convocation and all the information we will inform you so this is a thing and uh, uh, next i welcome uh, uh, my colleagues dr prasida unnikrishnan assistant director igno regional center kochi uh, to deliver a uh, free refund for special clientele scholarship prerequisites thank you thank you very much thank you vijay raghavan sir uh, for the, uh, the uh, kind thank words you. thank you uh, yeah. so now uh, myself dr prasita unnikrishnan i would be speaking about fee refund for the special clientele scholarship uh, scholarship prerequisites uh, so there are mainly uh, as far as uh, scholarship is concerned for igno learners you can avail the uh, following four schemes uh, which are available for the a uh, special clientele that is the uh, scst learners uh, and learners with, who are dif differently abled as well first scheme is the direct benefit scheme then we have the kerala state government scholarship scheme and uh, uh, then we have the minority scholarship scheme and the scholarship for the di differently abled so i will be explaining each one of the uh, schemes now on next slide under the direct benefit scheme now this scheme uh, many of our igno learners must have already 
uh, taken into consideration uh, while applying to IGNO programs. As you all know, IGNO provides a fee exemption to SCST learners for mainly for certificate, diploma, and undergraduate programs, especially uh, BA general and BCom general programs. And uh, this fee exemption is available online as well. And uh, the only um, prerequisite for this fee exemption is that you need to have a CAS certificate as a proof. And you also need to uh, give an undertaking uh, stating that you are not employed anywhere. So these are the two prerequisites for availing the direct benefit scheme of IGNO. And many of our students would have already availed uh, the scheme and the list of uh, uh, programs uh, under uh, for which this benefit is available is also available on the regional center coaching website so the next slide please the next uh, uh, scheme for fee refund is for the a scholar, uh, is for the Kerala State Government Scholarship, which is also available for our students. Uh, there is a form which can be downloaded from the IGNO Regional Center Cochin website. You can fill up this form and uh, the hard copy uh, is also available with the Social Welfare Department. This form has to be filled up and along with all the credentials which are required along with the form like your CAS certificate, your IGNO ID card, and other prerequisites uh, which are essential. You can submit this form at IGNO Regional, Cent uh, Regional Center Cochin. And uh, uh, once you submit this form, uh, you can avail, uh, you will be getting a scholarship maybe through NEFT transaction, which we will be after maybe uh, some seven to eight months of time. Next slide. So uh, uh, this uh, has to be submitted along with the IGNO ID card only. So your IGNO ID card has to be uh, submitted along with this uh, Kerala State Government Scholarship form. Next slide. The next, we have this minority scholarship scheme, which is available through our national scholarship portal uh, sponsored by the Central Government of India. And it is through this website, www.nsp.gov.in, where the student logins to this website and applies directly for a scholarship. So this uh, scheme is also available for our students. And uh, maybe you can avail the benefit of this scheme as well. Next slide. Next, we have uh, next. There's a scholarship for the differently abled, uh, which is also available through the National Handicapped Finance and Development Corporation. Please visit the NHF DF, uh, DFC site. Uh, that is the www.nhfdc.nic.in, and you can uh, see the various schemes which are available for the differently abled learners. And if you are a differently abled learner of IGNO, then you can definitely visit this site and apply accordingly as per the norms and guidelines which are specified on this website. So uh, these uh, these were all. Uh, which I had to speak about the fee refund for the special client uh, clientele, that is the scholarship which is available for IGNO students uh, and which you can avail. So the next session uh, would be for the life skill for distance learner uh, by our regional director, Dr. J.S. Doroti, madam. And I warmly invite her for the session, ma'am. The life skill of, for a distance learner is very unique. Because if you are studying as a learner, amidst so many challenges, right from employment, social, personal, and of course, a certain uncertainties as of uh, for, as per the young man, as per now, you can say this pandemic is also an uncertainty which we will expect. Next slide, please. The World Health Organization has defined life skill as the ability for adaptive and positive behavior that enable individuals to deal effectively with the demands and challenges of everyday life. Friends, the last the two lines, that is the demands and challenges of everyday life, it is what makes each one unique. For some, traveling may be a challenge, for others, it will be a pleasure. For some, cooking will be very difficult, whereas the other earn their living by cooking. So it is all depends upon how our perception is and how uh, the things move ahead when it comes to facing the demands and challenges. 
And when it comes to facing the demands and challenges in everyday life, whether it is education or whether it is personal or it is employee, uh, employee or employment related, one thing you should know is it is a temporary place. And the second thing is it is it is dependent on you. Only when you give up, it is over. So whenever you face a demand or a challenge, and it will be a part of everyday life, please do not give up. And I would also go to the extent to say, please trust in God when it comes to facing demand and challenges. Sometimes when, uh, uh, when life goes across, we will recall uh, the demand and challenges of everyday life which we faced say two years back or ten years back and we will have it will be an opportunity for us to thank God for uh, facing it. Many a time the demands and challenges help us to serve as a diving boat or a ladder to climb to the next stage. Right. Next slide. What are the skills you need? to ensure that you have the life skill or develop this, nurture the life skill as a distance learner. I'm just relating it only to the study aspect, but you can extend it to your personal life also after this presentation. The first is honesty. The second is ability to take one day at a time. Third is persistence. And then the expression of interest, steadfastness, and then peer interaction. Let us have a look of each of this now. Next slide, please. Honesty. Honesty, uh, we, uh, as a distance learner, it is needed to be with the peers, to the authorities, to self, to be genuine in relationship. It is also needed while admitting fault. And people say, you really need a courage to say sorry. And and uh, honesty also ensures there is no blame game and there is no suppression or oppression and there is openness. Actually, friends, you may ask me why in this honesty, uh, we would have said that the honesty is the best policy. But when it comes to a distance learner, we have, you are away from the institute, you are away from the peers, you are away from the academic counselors who handle the counseling session and you are also away from the uh, institution certifies you and also the expert who wrote the study material. And it is only you, uh, that is why we always call you as an independent learner. But when it comes to honesty to the peers, we expect you, suppose you are getting some help from your colleague, for example, to write the assignment response, please do not copy exactly what was given uh, by, the, by your friend. And to the authorities, especially to the coordinators. See, we each one of us as a learner, we have our individual profile in the society. But when we contact the coordinators, please contact as a student. Many a time, uh, we associate our professional, uh, what is a designation, when, uh, with the uh, studying process. And we are not honest when it comes to relating uh, the uh, placing the right respect to the coordinators and academic counselors. Yeah. Then to, uh, honesty to self means uh, yes today you would have taken leave to come to counsel to write the assignment response. This is to that should be. Please don't divert it to check your mails, to check uh, keep chatting or engage yourself in some other activities which may be fruitful also. But what is, uh, what is the purpose for which you have, uh, you, we have been focused for a day? That should be there. And be genuine in the relationship. Giving and taking. Many a time we uh, get complaints uh, from learners telling so and so. Uh, see, we can regional center or for that matter study center won't be able to know each one of the learners. So when student comes and says so and so collected our record, they didn't give it back. Really, we are also helpful. So when it comes to being genuine in relationship, you have to be honest of what you get and what you receive also. And in admitting faults, many a time, for example, see the other is human. So many a times in for example in submitting the examination form to the after for the wrong course. And then we won't admit it when it comes to the reception desk. 
So you should be bold enough to admit the fault so that we can move ahead when it comes to the progression of targeting a solution for the problem and problem. And please do not blame game because everybody makes mistakes. And ultimately, to forgive is really a divine uh, gift given by God, I should say. So when there is a problem, concentrate on a solution rather than who is the pro uh, uh, person behind that problem. And uh, uh, some of the senior, some socially well, well influential people, they do oppress and suppress like threatening you, write the assignments, etc., etc. And uh, of course, we want, can entertain only if there is a written complaints from the person who is affected. And many a time, the learners are also very scared to tell some, that somebody else is affecting them, somebody else is making them to write the assignments. So please do not value each one individual as a human being and give that respect to them. And the last one is being honest, means being openness. See, sometimes they say that if you move with the wind, it will reach to a higher, greater heights. So you be assured that the regional center and the study center will travel with you throughout the journey of your study. But it is up to you to take the benefit. Next slide, please. Next is the taking the ability to take one day at a time, or having the ability to take one day at a time. See, many a time thinking uh, six months from now, things will look so uncertain. But if you think today what you have to do, you can manage it well. That's why uh, we uh, always highlight on time management. Know what you can do and what you cannot do. And also, do not worry about tomorrow when you are doing one task at a, uh, at a time uh, today. And always remember, little drops make a mighty ocean. Meaning, meaning, today if you just write your name on, on your white sheet to write your assignment questions, you have started writing the assignment. And if you put margin, you are going to the next stage. And then if you started writing your questions, that is the next stage. So progression is always a little step and uh, don't miss to do certain things related to your uh, study in a day amidst all other problems, uh, uh, all other commitments I should say. And uh, always remember all problems have a solution and you should be bold enough to take the process targeting at the solution. Meaning many a time it's, uh, they say, you know, the hurdles are just for us to cross, not to trample upon. So you should know if there is a problem related to the study, both the coordinators or the LSC staff and the regional center staff are available to help you. And you should be bold enough to contact us. And the best way to contact us is by uh, email. And please note our regional center email ID is rcquestion at and also friends, they also want to say that if you are not receiving it in a week, please send it as a reminder. Because so sometimes we also uh, will be uh, thinking of, see, your one main would have more than two, three queries. So we'll be targeting of consolidation and there will be some time lapse. So don't hesitate to send a reminder if you have not received any response from us within a week. And then do at least something related to your study in a day. See, at, at least you should read one self-check exercise before uh, sleeping. Something like that, some values or set patterns should exist in your life when it comes to study. And uh, see, we can, just like how we cannot eat, or uh, it's not advisable to eat all the um, uh, breakfast, lunch, dinner together at one stroke, so also we cannot study everything together. So pacing is important. Next slide, please. The next slide skill is persistence. Persistence is ability not to give up. So uh, what you should know is that when they are moving the slide, you can just listen. Okay, it is more like slow cycling. Slow cycling means rapidly more steady. At the same time, the speed should not be very fast. 
so the studying is not unlimited dash i should say and little effort matters and be optimistic see now when you have enrolled after enrolling don't turn back you just to see i have to move ahead target of what are the spin of benefits you will get when you complete this program of study which you have enrolled so be optimistic so yes today i have to forward for going out i have to forward for seeing a uh, uh, favorite uh, what you call a uh, program uh, and uh, i yes i have to leave certain of my fresh timing uh, to concentrate on writing and it is difficult yes of course to write uh, legibly throughout so we have to be a little more persistent when we are putting our efforts for study and always view hurdles as stepping stones so when it comes when you see it as a stepping stone you know that you are climbing a ladder and every activity or every uh, problem or demands or challenges is going to give you more visibility among the public who are around you many a time the family members and the employees uh, or the uh, your colleagues where you are employed next slide please the next is expression of interest see we as basically you know uh, uh, many of us do not express ourselves even to our family members what is our that we will, even though in our heart we will feel that we want this or prefer this item we will say anything is okay okay so it is uh, in our culture is so much tuned to that we should not express our preference we should not force our uh, uh, individual uh, what is a desires but when it comes to education please express yourself be genuine and do not threaten or limit your job profile when you are expressing yourself it's mainly to uh, say for example you want some more time to write your assignment maybe one more day and that one more day will make a lot of difference but as per the last day you have to give it today so you have to express yourself you and as per norms you have to express it in writing please take uh, please take the coordinator and the regional center staff into conference we are sure that the both the learner support center and the regional center are facilitating you to reach the access to the successful completion of the program is your concern and then uh, when you come to the help desk be polite even when you are right with a complaint and uh, we always follow inclusive or integrated classroom so we do not insist on uh, separation of any specially uh, need people at the entrance of the office so and because uh, the government of india also insists on inclusive and integrated classroom and many a time we uh, the dress code which we wear as a uh, special need candidate to suit whether you are able to manage the situation alone many a time our learners come without any assistive devices and also with uh, without any person to support them and they find difficulty to use the toilet facilities and they also sometimes they, their dress also gets soiled so all this have repercussions of continuity of our activities also of course we do reach out but you have to express yourself you have to say yes see uh, i have i want to have a feel of how the entire integrated classroom is so i want to write the exam with the main stream uh, the contact of the main examination hall but still i need some assistance when it comes to uh, answering the nature part and you should know whether uh, whenever you go to a lsc or the regional center you should know where the call is because nature call is very sudden and we can't afford to wait till uh, we want to answer to a nature call and find out where the call is So as a matter of courtesy, as a life skill education, I want to highlight: as soon as you enter one place, you should be familiar of the layout. And the best person to ask where the toilet is is the security guard who allows you to enter. And uh, the personal hygiene protocols, the, the diaper and the hand. And you should 
be very uh, honest enough and polite enough to dispose it in the appropriate places. And uh, it will look like a women education, but I also would like to say it as a life skill education for any man who would like to empower another woman is that when you come as an individual, uh, be assured that you are treated as a learner. At the same time, the individuality of you is based on gender. So there will be separate toilet facilities and there is many a time there will be separate restroom. When it comes to uh, having your lunch uh, during the uh, stay there, and of course the canteen facilities are not, you have to avail of it as rendered by the LSC. So when it comes to uh, the request to exercise the element of discretion to answer beyond the last day, it is based on certain evidence. So you have to say why you want to submit it and how best we can take that. And whenever uh, say, uh, there is a special need or a medical need, please take the, the uh, exam superintendent into confidence or if you are very scared, at least tell the teacher who is there in vigilating that I am having this problem, I want to be a uh, little more comfortable. And there is, uh, and we do attend to special needs, even to nursing mothers, and we, uh, so that they are comfortable. See, we cannot, uh, education is something, even one day delay changes the certification process. So that's why even uh, every government, including uh, uh, the various policy holders, uh, they decide that we should progress upon the fulfillment of the educational uh, prerequisites so the taxes of the program for study needs to successfully come. And please bring us fair dress because it is you who will know whether you will be soiling it due to certain uh, special need or medical. So, uh, and uh, many a time the learners, uh, see it is a little, little sensitive also, till the dress dry, people will be staying in the bathroom when they are pregnant, they have come to write the examination. So please express yourself. See, we are not going to feel bad. We are want to help you. So we say, I have got this bad dress, it is there in the uh, outside, it's my bag. I, if you do certain uh, special need or medical need, I'm soiled it, I want to change. So not this going to hesitate. And everywhere, Whenever you are expressing yourself, some many a times we will expect, we expect you to give it in writing because it means a record for us. And later, your own, uh, what is it, persons who are observing you uh, giving preference will be answered if they are asking for this. So, next slide, please. Next is steadfastness as a life skill or a distance. You should be determined, uh, determined, you should have the determination to complete the program which you have enrolled. Yes, demands will be there, challenges will be there. Sometimes our own system uh, or the, uh, say for example, pandemic situation, yes, that will be very difficult for uh, all of us to stay in home and doing each of our academic activity. But still be determined to complete your program of study. And let there be some dedication uh, or to ensure that you complete the program of study, it may necessitate sacrifice of other leisure time. And this, if, for example, even uh, we will be interested to go out, but at the same time you won't be able to sit and write the assignment. So that is where you have to be dedicated in your heart to do the do the work. The next commitment, commitment to do the best. So many a time, see friends, it's not just fighting assignment response or term and examination. People will be taking four or five uh, uh, hours to write uh, uh, an assignment response, but when you see the content in there, and it is very sad that you put so much effort and you still uh, you are not successfully completing it. And so what I will say is, have some commitments. Just survey the question and then survey the study material. 
when you are listening about the study material, you are having the unit structure. You would have heard about it. Unit structure is nothing but the content in that unit. So you know, if you open a study material, the first thing is the title, and then it will say what all it will be there. So by seeing that content itself, you can locate your assignment. So the first answers to the assignment questions, and you can write your assignment response. And finally, when you want to have steadfastness, focus on the skill of benefits. Today's expenditure of your time, today's going of your leisure time activity. Today, uh, what is it? Uh, a determination to finish it. And today's uh, preference to study, then going out, then watching some other entertainment. You surely have skill of benefits. That's the old saying which says, uh, I mean, if you want uh, uh, some money to be given to somebody, you can take some anybody's money. But when it comes to having an education qualification or wisdom, you cannot take somebody else's uh, certificate and say uh, yes, or you cannot donate your own certificate to somebody in need. So certain things are very person specific, and please, whenever there is demand and challenges, I always say. Please trust in God. That is the only, uh, what is it, uh, put for our soul and spirit to move ahead. Next slide, please. Peer interaction. Peer interaction is very necessary. So even now, this pandemic will tell us how we long for our friends to be here. And we, we are, even though we call them, etc., we still long when uh, we can meet uh, them physically and have a good interaction. The same psychology applies to the uh, distance learning system also. And many a time we feel that uh, 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 we can do it alone, but still two is better than one. And then, so we always encourage peer learning. And uh, do not join peer who are demanding of them. See, Many a time we won't be knowing who is the program, uh, who was uh, enrolled for the same program. The tendency will be whoever is coming in the chat box for your online counseling, you try to meet Some, you see, it is all person specific. Some, and it is our duty as a distance educator to educate you on the life skills related to peer interaction, so that, that it, as a preventive measure, so that you won't raise any complaint later in your when you are studying with me. So some will be demanding that you write your assignment, then I will help you in this, etc. Please don't feel to it. And please do not join fear who will oppress and suppress others. Or raise queries or pose a problem against the LSU or the business, etc. It's not that we are wrong or you are right, or you are wrong and we are right. That you see, when it comes to a problem, you should target at a solution. And do not join fear to initiate unrest. Many a time we uh, get letters without any evidence. Without uh, letters, without signature, without any evidence, any proof, we simply keep it in our file. Uh, it is not valuable. So if you have any problem, first you write the coaching business center. That is RC coaching at ignu.ac.im. Tell your problem. Definitely all ignore problems of content. And be cautious of whom you are associating. As even the distance teaching institution do not have any confidential profile of any individual learning. So you are listening so far uh, to the life skills needed by a learner, a distance learner, while studying with uh, studying in a uh, distance learning system. So, is the demands and the challenges of life, it is honesty, taking one day at a time, persistence, ex expression of interest, steadfastness, peer interaction. And uh, the underlying factor of uh, life skill management itself, you know, friends, is to take one day at a time and not to worry about tomorrow and never give up. It's over only when you give up. And trust God that that He is the, the, as the supreme power he is capable of changing the demands and challenges of life. And all things 
you will recall that all things so far have happened for your good, and God can change everything for your good. And with this, friends, I will request Dr. Prasita Munishi, Assistant Director, to introduce the coordinators who are present with us in the meeting. See, the coordinators are the head of the learner support centers at each of the places, and we are really grateful. Without them, we won't be reaching out to you at the various levels. So, you, the first point of contact for you will be the learner support centers, and you should have a um, have the phone number and the email ID, which we will try to circulate it also to you. And the, uh, over to Dr. Prasita who will welcome and honor each of the coordinators present and request uh, the coordinators to share a few words uh, with all of us now. Over to Dr. Prasita. Thank you, Dorothy, madam. Uh, so uh, it has been a, a long induction meeting for all of us here and we are very grateful that all our coordinators uh, from uh, various regional uh, various study centers and the regional center coaching have joined with us uh, for this meeting as well uh, so i'm uh, very thankful to all, each and every staff and coordinators of the respective lscs uh, who have taken time out of the busy schedule to attend this meeting. So now I request before I sum up for the induction meeting today, I have a few points uh, as a sum up uh, to tell you, as a checklist to tell you. But before doing that, I would request uh, our coordinators uh, who want to uh, address our learners to kindly unmute their mic and uh, please speak. First and foremost, uh, may I request uh, uh, Dr. A.K. Prema, uh, coordinator of SC 1400, uh, if she can just unmute her mic and address our learners. Hello. Yeah, madam, you're audible. Please carry audible. on, ma'am. Okay, okay, okay. Uh, thank you, uh, the organizers, for giving me an opportunity to speak a few words. Uh, even if the, the, the train is running late because it is uh, 1.38, I think, the time, and everybody will be hungry, and I don't know why whether the students will be ready to hear what we say. Anyway, only a few points I am telling. I'll take only maximum of 5 to 10 minutes because uh, everything is already explained by the previous speakers of uh, RC and a very good presentation was given by our beloved regional director uh, Dorothy ma'am. It was quite useful ma'am for, for any, any learner it is quite uh, useful that life skills are talk on uh, life skills. I especially thank you I, I thank you everybody. Uh, for their presentations. Okay, I, I appreciate everybody for their presentations. Now, I have nothing to say more than that. I can and I can only say something about the online counseling, academic counseling, and how do we arrange like that? Only a few points uh, for the sake of knowledge of the students. So we know uh, Ms. Prasida Ma'am has already introduced me, me, me that I am Dr. Prema A.K. and the coordinator of uh, study center uh, in the model study center in the RC campus itself, 14000. And uh, our mail ID is already given. And if you have any query, you can send uh, uh, the, it through the mail ID. Okay. Now, as we, when we we are having many of the um, PG programs and a few PG diplomas and also uh, this is the only center where BA PCH that is BA Psychology Honors is offered. No other center under RC Kuchin uh, is offering the, this particular course. That's why we are having a heavy rush for this, um, this course, this program also. Uh, now let me see some something about the important things the learners remember immediately after taking their uh, uh, admission and uh, the people will be sitting at home and so many people are calling me we are not getting any information after the admission and all and I, I asked them wait and you will have classes in July uh, and uh, what you can uh, you can do is, uh, the assignment um, writing start you can start assignment writing etc like that so i want to tell you only three things that one is an id card this is to the students 
the id card the downloading of the id card and uh, taking the print out of the id card is very very important you know all of you should uh, should take it as early as possible this uh, id card download that is one thing i told you id card is very very important when you write the examination when you attend the practicals viva everywhere even at the time of convocation the id card is very very important then second one uh, study materials study materials are actually it is already given by sindhu ma'am um, uh, so study materials of course you, you need not wait for the study materials uh, to the printed form of study materials to reach you by post i think because this time uh, you can expect it very late so in be before that itself you can download the study material from e gyan course or e content app okay uh, and you can start reading this is on the academic counseling so you need not uh, uh, wait for the study materials to come it is better you can start reading the study material especially the assignment questions you can download the assignment questions and uh, this you can make uh, some uh, rough work on the assignment questions which can be downloaded okay anyway be before to starting the class uh, i will give you a, a very good uh, guidelines with regard to uh, assignment writing downloading question paper submission of uh, all these things i will i'll give a detailed account to all the batches don't worry you will get every information uh, at the time you get, you start the uh, online academic counseling okay i'll be sending a mail to each and every uh, every one of you with an attachment of the guidelines and also the things to do there regarding the assignments etc so only the my request is to the learners is they have to see the mail email email that's many people say that um, uh, didn't get the mail like that so you have to um, see the mail because within uh, uh, two or three weeks you will get the mail and there will be a link also in that uh, mail uh, where you can uh, we can have a whatsapp group we are having a whatsapp group for every batch of students every say every program students of uh, this uh, jury session uh, of course and i'll give you the link and uh, i i hope uh, all the students will uh, uh, join the whatsapp group because many of the uh, informations are passed through the um, whatsapp group because uh, there is no question of uh, uh, face to face mode of uh, interaction this time Uh, so please uh, be careful to be a part of a uh, member of the whatsapp group and also to uh, to uh, to uh, listen to the messages that is uh, given and that is an official uh, type of uh, whatsapp whatsapp group in the study center so no forwarded messages unnecessary messages should be there in the whatsapp okay that the third one is actually academic counseling and there um, is a madam has already told about academic counseling the uh, benefits of academic counseling uh, uh, all these things but i want to say one one thing how we uh, implement the academic counseling we know we we prepare schedule for one month uh, the academic counseling and you know the academic counseling sessions based are based on uh, the credit of the course so most of the pg programs are having um, eight credits so that you will get uh, 10 classes for the pgs except mapc uh, where it is only four credit course uh, courses so five sessions so five sessions means uh, two hours per session per session that is uh, that that is uh, only that much time is there to give the um, counseling And the rest you have to do uh, self learning and you can have an interaction with the academic counselor we are having very committed academic counselor and with the support of rc we could conduct successfully the academic counseling for all the uh, programs if, uh, and the exception is if the program is having less than uh, 10 students uh, only intensive type of uh, academic counseling will be given to them academic counseling is a technical term used by you know for teaching actually that you have to understand some people will uh, think that the 
uh, counseling is something different uh, from this uh, class. Academic counseling is it's only uh, classes. Okay. Uh, then uh, uh, and uh, as uh, ma'am ma told, there should be some uh, of the can the students may be in the uh, presentable form uh, because this is uh, we recorded. Uh, the whole thing will be recorded and that will be uh, 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 uploaded on this uh, website. The recorded videos, so uh, you can be careful to be in a presentable mode that in the dress code and all. And usually we hold the academic counseling sessions in the morning, that is 10 to 12, and 2 to 4, 4 to 6. Um, but uh, one, one batch will be having only one session or maximum two sessions. All these uh, all details I'll give you later. Okay, and a link will be created for the whole month and link will be sent to you. And I have a request that uh, for uh, ME, uh, that is an um, English class, we, we are getting a lot of students from North India, some Rajasthan, Hima, Himachal, uh, some uh, Himal, uh, I don't know, uh, some somewhere. And I don't know how they are getting the link uh, actually. So uh, that causes difficulty in entering our students to the uh, uh, class. So they should be very careful. Um, you will get anyway. Everybody will be working. Uh, in university, no, anyone can attend online counseling anywhere. Oh, okay. It is under WEAS, so oh. web enabled system, and uh, oh. that's why others are also entering. And we are supposed yeah. to put it in our uh, regional center website and also in the university website. And we oh. cannot uh, uh, prevent anybody. Uh, yeah. Stop anybody co uh, coming. That's why we are our yeah. medium of instruction is in English. So yeah. we have to resort to that. And of, of course, who are not coming for the first hundred, uh, they will uh, be viewing only the YouTube video uploaded in the Ignore oh, yeah. Center uh, YouTube channel. Okay. Okay, ma'am. Uh, and then uh, that much about the um, uh, academic counseling sessions and uh, assignments, everything is already discussed and I have to say only one point that is uh, when you submit the assignments, you have to keep some documents along with that. One is the acknowledgement, student details, uh, assessment sheet, question paper and the answer sheets. That should be the order. Uh, to be kept along with each assignment, uh, assignment, uh, assignment questions actually. And the answer should be the last. All the other details I'll give you later. And MAPC students, we will uh, have a uh, Google Meet later because uh, many things are to be explained for the uh, MAPC with MAPC students uh, regarding the practicals, uh, which is a mandatory, uh, then uh, also uh, um, projects, internship, etc. So we will discuss all these things. Anyway, we start the academic counseling, theory academic counseling for in July after uh, after discussing with the person concerned, that is Dr. Jaleja uh, Madam and also RD Madam, uh, Regional Director Madam. And we will fix a date and from there onwards, you will get the academic counseling in theory and practicals will be conducted uh, later. This much I, I have to say about... Uh, the working of our uh, center uh, and anyway I am, I am getting a very good cooperation from our students also I am happy that uh, uh, they are all uh, very very loving and very cooperative student. okay thank you the regional directors uh, regional director and all others for giving me this opportunity thank you thank thank you once again Thank you, Prima Madam. Thank you, ma'am, for your uh, uh, brief inputs which you have provided to all our students. Now I request uh, uh, Tom Vargis, sir, our coordinator of SH College, Tevra. Sir, uh, you may please unmute your mic and kindly address our students, sir. Tom Vargis, sir, am I audible? Kindly yes. unmute your mic, sir. Yes, yes. Am I audible? Yes, sir, you are audible now. Please carry okay, on, sir. Okay. Uh, respected regional director and other esteemed uh, persons present there. And I know very well that the students you have joined our Igno uh, University with great expectations. 
but you have come across so many uh, unexpected problems exactly. and as per the norms prescribed by ignu headquarter delhi so you can continue sorry sir my mute mic was unmuted okay can you hear me please yes sir yes sir okay so actually we we had our problems starting from the middle of the last 2020 march and up to the middle of march we were going very well without any problems in our uh, uh, curricular activities but after the uh, middle of march 2020 we came across so many problems we could not conduct face to face classes and from april onwards we had our online classes but i found that the students who were uh, actually before this pandemic our corona actually the students were able to uh, actively uh, join the classes and do their studies if they are joining for the january session surely by the middle of february the induction meeting will be there and the students will be coming and we start our classes and everything was going very well but at present these days i find that the students after joining the course they wait for a very long time i request them please don't wait for uh, more than one month in the beginning so when you are admitted to the university you will find that within one or two weeks you will be getting your uh, enrollment number and uh, your uh, id card after getting the enrollment number and the id card we will we will see that uh, the you will you are getting your uh, study materials by post i tell you that actually as soon as you receive your study materials you are actually uh, starting starting your classes you have just started it what you have to do is actually as soon as you get the study materials first of all you have not come to the study center our study center is sh college tevara sh college tevara is a first grade college having so many courses and some 15 undergraduate courses 15 post graduate courses uh, less than 10 uh, research centers and we had uh, early mphil courses but now we are not having it and so many activities are going on there so you know that having these post grad courses etc we have got here the mba courses are there mca bca and bsc bsc course old course and our bsc g course is there biochemistry is there so many science courses are there of see how well developed the laboratories and the departments it is very easy for us to conduct classes here but during these days you know that we are not able to conduct we are not able to do something in the laboratory because after the middle of march no face to face classes or no labs were conducted that is the situation what i have to tell uh, the tell to the students is that after getting the id card and your enrollment number first of all try to contact your coordinator of your study center some students were telling that we did not get his number it is very easy for you to get the number the of uh, the coordinator you just contact the 
college and request them to hand over the number of the coordinator you will get it very easily then you contact the coordinator and you clear your doubts actually in the early cases as there were induction classes the induction classes were very useful usually in the induction classes the uh, esteemed dignitaries from the uh, regional center will be present there and the office bearers of the study center will be there and the senior academy counselors will be there all will be addressing you and after the uh, the meeting is so induction meeting is over you get enough time to have interaction with the officers of the regional center you can clear all your doubts you can meet the academy counselors and uh, a very good beginning was there it is not possible now you we know that so what you have to do is you know that this uh, you belong to the uh, largest open university in the world you are one among the 37 lakhs of students studying all over the world you are really proud to be a member of the university no university i know that so what you have to do is after getting the enrollment number and the id card and the study materials you first of all be thorough with the practical gate you are you are having you are sent to be thorough with the gate then start reading the portions and you know that mainly this open distance learning is self study so you start reading the work the study materials and you carefully note down the doubts you have uh, on both sides of the pages on the margin of the each page you note down your doubts then when you come across some difficult portions which is not easily understood you mark there as to be highlighted and you should know that with this homework only you can come to the online classes and have a successful online class mainly in the on online in the academic counseling mainly your doubts are cleared and the difficult portions are highlighted these are the main things happening there and i have found some seven, uh, some students who have after getting uh, admitted to the you no know, actually they are uh, calling me after some five months they ask us sir no we got no information from anywhere we could not get uh, contact anybody at last we got your number and i am talking to you in that way i tell you never wait for more than one month after getting the admission you can start your studies you should con surely immediately contact your coordinator and get the necessary informations and counseling from him he will guide you uh, to your ways and uh, your doubts will be clear and uh, uh, we will provide the uh, numbers of the academic counselors also the students can even contact the academic counselors if they are not taking classes they can clear their doubts they can get they get an idea about it and when we are making use of these opportunities you will find that you will be the uh, a better student than the regular student because when when you have problems to face you become more uh, more eligible and more uh, worthy to be uh, facing problems and when you search something and found you never forget it so your self-study will help you and you should know that this is a great opportunity for you you are given actually double time for completing your course that is meant for the students who have some limitations for the employees who are appointed and if there are some transfer 
and so many problems come, they, should, they can make use of the extra time given to them. So what you have to do is, so never get disappointed. Don't jump into com conclusions. So hope for the best and be prepared for the worst. Our uh, COVID, that is a great challenge for us, but that will also help us to have more ability in our life. So what I have to tell you is this, you be in contact with the study center, you will get so many uh, information regarding your studies and uh, we can have so many things. For the time being, there are so many limitations we have. We cannot have conduct classes as we had uh, conducted our classroom uh, classes. There are so many problems. When a new course is introduced, it will take some time. And actually, you know that the uh, last date for admission is extended. That means uh, if it takes uh, three or four months for having the admission, you should see that the regarding the first semester, don't be worried about it. You can make it up. And uh, what you have to do is, you go through the site, Igno site, and see that actually uh, you are getting well and have interactions. When you were, when we were having these face-to-face -face classes, actually there were so many advantages. The students coming to the classes, they made some WhatsApp groups, and they had always interactions with each other so whenever a student is getting some useful information actually they were uh, transferring it and uh, they were having it and they were uh, in, in that we are going very well so uh, what I have to tell you is this so be patient everything will be all right you should try to contact you in be in contact with the study center. You can present your problems and we will see solutions for that. The present situation is very challenging. I know that the unexpected situations are there, quite unfamiliar situations. We can make it up. And what we are, you, you are now enriched with the information, the induction meeting. You got so many information regarding the you know so i wish you all the best and uh, you will be the more you search the more you get so thank you and i wish you all the best thank you thank you thank you tom Vargas, sir for your elaborate advice for our learners and uh, now may i request uh, aishwarya madam uh, of uh, kerala verma college if she's there to kindly address maybe you can make it brief ma'am sure ma'am thank yeah. you dr prasida and dr dorothy for this opportunity it's a great pleasure to talk to uh, the learners i'm dr aishwarya babu from igno lse 1407 it's situated in sri kerala Arma college campus at the heart of the city trishur and we cater to more than 3500 students every year as uh, you're all re registered learners you may be familiar with the courses that we offer i will i would like to add a few points to what already prima ma'am and uh, dr tom told us the first thing is about the identity card i'll i would like to remind all of the students to download their identity cards when they join and also go through the prospectus and the website of IGNO, IGNO Regional Center Cochin, and IGNO Study Center 1407 so that you are up to date with all the information available. Since it's an open distance learning, you are not meeting the uh, teachers and the other office members every day. So it will be of great help to you if you can check regularly the websites for updates. The other thing we can do is, after going through all these, if you have any doubts, please do call the office. We are open six days a week, and the phone number line is always open. So please do that. And like Prima Ma'am and others 
reminded you please go to the study materials yourself don't wait for the academic counseling sessions to start once you're familiar with the study materials when the counseling starts it will be easy for you to follow and whenever you have any doubt please do free to call us or visit the center in person so that you are clear about everything as an igno student i i think you are familiar with everything else since prema ma'am and tom sir very detailedly tell told you and i'm sure that whatever you missed out dr prasida will be reminding you of so that's all fr from me and thank you for the opportunity thank you aishwarya ma'am uh, in case any other coordinator is interested to interact with our learners Tom Vargas, sir. Maybe you can kindly unmute your voice. Any other coordinators? Alex, sir, is there? I saw Alex, sir, of Newman College, sir. Deepak, fourteen one eight six. Ah, fourteen one eight six. Saint Saint Anthony's College, fourteen twenty four. Okay. Thank you. Ansar Women's College. Anyone is there? Nishida ma. Okay, ma'am. Uh, so I think I suppose uh, <laughs> uh, we can come to just uh, an end of this induction meeting, and uh, uh, it has been a long induction meeting, I must say. And you have been listening, uh, listening to us patiently so far. So I would just like to sum up within five minutes what you have heard so far. So first and foremost, uh, uh, you need to remember your ten-digit enrollment number, your program code, and the course codes which you need to study. And please uh, check your registration details from the IGNO website www.igno.ac.in under Student Zone, and please verify the same. Also, please note down the minimum and maximum duration required for completion of your program. Like for the bachelor's degree program, the ma max minimum duration is three years, and the maximum duration is six years. And for a master's level program, the minimum duration is two years, and the maximum duration is four years. If there are any corrections in your name, address, phone number, etc., please write to the regional center uh, coaching immediately at rc coaching at the rate igno dot ac dot in for rectification of the same by enclosing your igno id proof next slide so as uh, we have been hearing from the first slide itself that your id card is a very important document which needs to be maintained throughout your period of study so please uh, dear students download the same from the admission portal using your login id and username and password and the, your id card is needed for writing your examinations attending counts uh, for your attending your project 5 hour sessions uh, attending the convocation and for any other communication with the regional center or with your study center please enclose your id card and write your enrollment number program code and phone number so that we can easily respond to the same next slide as i informed earlier your study materials are being sent to you by post and this would include the program guide the self learning material and in case your program has a field work component it would also include a manual or a pra practical project guide as well please go through the program guide thoroughly as it provides you the complete information including vital inputs about the program you are pursuing Uh, you should also remember the name of your study center, its code, address, and contact numbers. Presently, 
uh counseling sessions are being conducted in the online virtual mode due to the current pandemic situation and for details pertaining to the counseling session we request that you need to be in touch with your study center for the same now as far as re registration goes presently you have paid fees for the first semester and the first year only hence you need to re register for the second semester and second year online only for which the re registration link would be available on the igno website especially for mca bc and semester based programs uh, the re registration link for the second semester is presently open now this is an information which is specific to mca bc learners and for other semester based programs the re registration link is presently open now for which the last date is 15th of june so request you to kindly re register for the second semester and second year especially for mca bc students uh, the next uh, next slide please also change of electives or courses is not possible for the learners of ba bcom and bsc programs after the july 2019 session so this may also be kindly taken note of by especially for students who are studying ba bcom and bsc programs further for writing your assignments please download the assignment questions from the igno website www.igno.ac.in under student zone and specific to the session you need to submit your assignments as prema madam has already mentioned assignments have to be submitted at your study center only due to the current pandemic situation assignment submission uh, online assignment submission is option is also available on the rc coaching website and you can refer uh, for online submit uh, submission of assignments by following the guidelines which are provided along with that and once the assignments are evaluated please make it a point to go through the same uh, uh go through the same further you also need to next slide please further you also need to submit your term and examination forms for theory as well as practical courses online through the link which is available on the igno website you can study by referring to old question papers which can be downloaded from the igno website www.igno.ac.in under student zone provi uh, next uh, provisional certificate and grade card is directly sent by student evaluation division igno headquarter delhi to the registered address of the learner after he or she completes the program successfully so uh, finally i would like to say that induction guidelines as our earlier speakers have already mentioned is a very important nine page uh, booklet which is a ready reference i must say and every student should download this induction guidelines and go through the same nicely as many of the queries which you are having about how to pursue your program successfully from igno will get solved after reading the induction guidelines the induction guidelines for the january 2021 session is presently uploaded on the regional center coaching website that is http rccoaching.igno.ac.in request all students who are watching this facebook live session to please download the induction guidelines today itself and kindly go through the same we also have our induction videos which are uploaded in the in the youtube channel of regional center coaching you can also subscribe to our youtube channel and go through the induction uh, videos which are available on the uh, youtube channels of igno and the induction video of the previous session is also uploaded on the regional center coaching website so uh, dear students lastly i have one very important uh, uh, information to share with all of you most of the students by now must have downloaded your id card using your username and password uh, which you had uh, uh, you had given at the time of submission of your um, uh, admission that is for entering the online admission portal you would have uh, given a uh, you would have created a user name and password once uh, you create the username and password you have taken admission you can download the id card by using the same username and password but for students 
who who are unable to remember the username or password or who have done it through some akshaya or some other agencies maybe they must not have been able to download their id card for such students i would request you to kindly log in to our uh, http igno.samarth.edu uh, .in link and you will see a screenshot which is presently visible to all of you now i must uh, uh specifically inform you one thing the username and password which you had created earlier will not apply here this is a specific re registration link which in which you have to create a new username and password for that creating that new username and password you should click on new registration which is given downwards that is in the green thing and then you need to click on the services which are available so when you click on the services next slide please this is the once you create a new you uh, create a username and password and you get an otp on your mobile number you can view this uh, screenshot which is given below and the one which i have highlighted in red that is download your id card so using that link you can download your id card so for students who are unable to download their id card please uh, go through the igno.samarth.edu.in link which is available on the uh, igno website or you can directly type this uh, link on the uh, link on the web browser and you can uh, in this manner you can download your id card now in case you have any doubt or in case you are still unable to download your id card please write to us at rckochi_admissions@igno.ac.in and we will definitely download it for you and uh, and send it back to you by email also in case uh, you have any queries pertaining to the program which you are pursuing you are free to contact us at rckochi@igno.ac.in always i would request you instead of calling up at the regional center and coming to the regional center in this pandemic situation it is uh, submitted that you may uh, always write a email at regional center kochi and we would be answering the same so these are some of the few points uh, which i thought are very important to share with all of you and uh, i would like to conclude by saying that self motivation is the key to being an igno learner and uh, and on behalf of igno regional center kochi my colleagues my staff at igno regional center kochi and all the coordinators of various lcs who have joined for this induction meeting i express my sincere gratitude to each one of them and and especially to all dear learners who have patiently attended this uh, facebook live session i hope that this session would motivate you for the successful completion of your program from igno so thank you all once again